Hello everybody, my name is Mitch Tavian and this is going to be another PL SQL developer tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the substring uh, command and, and we're also going to be using the concatenate command but I went over that in a previous tutorial so uh, it should, should be no problem. And so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new table. So create, and you guys already know how to do this so I'm just going to fast forward the video here. So now that we have our table created, we're ready to insert some data. So insert into substring tutorial mt, and we'll create our select statement here. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Select. So now we're going to select a substring. So how the substring works is it goes, uh, you put your column that you're interested in here, and then you put the position of the first character that you're interested in, and then you put the, set, the position of uh, the end of the characters that you're interested in. Well, that was worded really badly. But like, so I'm interested in the first character, and, I'm, and it, I want it to go all the way only to the first character. If I wanted the first two characters, I would put it. I would put a 2 here. So if like we're talking about someone's name, the first character is A. If I put 1 to 2 here, it would grab the A and the N. If I put the one, a 1 and a 3 here, it would grab the A, the N, and the D. But because I only want the A, uh, it's just going to grab... A. This is how you put it, right? Just like this. Okay. And then we're going to concatenate that. another substring uh, this one's going to be a bit different because um, because their names end at different positions so I can't just refer to like a specific position so what we're going to do is create an instruction so we're going to put an instruction in here and we want our instruction to start from the space so because I'm, I'm, I'm only interested in the last name, I'm going to put the first name dot the last name. We make an instruction here that starts at this space. That's why I'm putting a space right here. <clears throat> and the substring will end at the 50th character because these can be up to 50 characters long. I'll go over that again in a second here as soon as I finish. And then we're going to grab the wage and we're getting it from employees table. We're going to give it a uh, variable e. <clears throat> so um, this one's fairly straightforward. I think I explained that fine. But this one, it's the same thing. You're grabbing the column name, except you're starting at this. This will return, the instruction will return a number based, uh, a numbered position. So I'm referring to this column and I'm referring to the position where this space exists so like in this first case here uh, it will return one two three four five six it'll return a seven because the space is in the seventh position so it's gonna grab every character from the seventh position to the fiftieth position so we'll run that there oh I goofed on the brackets hold on here Yeah, that's one too many brackets. Oh, whoops, I forgot to actually uh, refer to the columns up here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, so now we can see that um, our name column here is just going to grab the first character and it'll grab the entire last name because it starts from the space and goes to the end of the string. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you guys have any um, requests for PLSQL tutorials that you want to see, just leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.